Welcome back for some more roadmap missions. Now this one is called Fear Part 1. How many parts there's going to be to it, who knows? Possibly two, possibly three, we'll find out. Now as you can see just at the beginning there, I do have an S plus team, or an S1 plus team led by Aaron with that plus 24 crit and they're all tasks and things like that. And they're But I'm not going to use them for this stage. I'm just going to pick out a few three stars, give them three star weapons, no four star weapons, just the three stars. I would give them some twos and ones, but I actually don't keep two and one star weapons. So that's why I'm giving the three stars and not the four. So as you can see from the players I chose, I've got the Andrea there, the Sophia, the Katra, the Lee, and of course the Michonne. Now only two of them are actually upgraded to the tier three there, as you'll see, the three in the middle, two telltale characters and then Sophia they're only on level one two of them and only up level five for Lee so they're not upgraded at all so we're just going to see how it goes um, it was a B plus team I wasn't purposely trying to get a B plus team I was just seeing what sort of team I was getting with the players I was picked and it was B plus which is the recommended team grade for this level so we'll just see how we go now we're starting off with walkers of course as I told you at the beginning going through it fairly quickly even with this B plus team so if you could imagine an S1 plus team would have just cruised through this um, fairly, fairly quickly and without a hassle uh, the reason I'm bringing in the lower grade team is just to show you that you don't need big team grades in order to finish these um, people with C teams are more likely can finish this B and so forth um, the recommended team grades are just sort of a guidance in what sort of team you should bring in it's actually I guess it doesn't really tell the story of whether you can actually beat the stage or not um in the second one I think it's is it a plus or a plus plus I haven't really looked we'll see but I'll bring in a lower grade team and just show you that it's possible to beat stages without having the recommended grade team for all those people that look at the recommended grade team CS1 or A+, and A+, and just freak out and is like, I can't do that, I'll just show you that you can. So we're just going to, I'm going to continue for the next few videos using lower grade teams other than my S1 plus team and all the other combinations of S1 teams I have and things like that. Just, uh, I guess, challenge myself, but also show you guys um, the differing team variations and how you can use them and things like that. It get, I assume for users it would get boring watching me just bring in an S1 team and beat everything fairly comfortably. Um, it gets boring for me, so this is why I do things like this. So we got through the first three stages, oh, not even the first three stages, yeah, the first three stages fairly comfortably and that's with a B plus team. So if you are panicking in any way about the team grades on either of these uh, courses or parts I wouldn't worry too much uh, usually if you set your team up right and bring in the right battle items you can beat that I guess requirement of what that your team grade should be but we'll see so we'll just keep going here wave four they haven't really got near me and I'm using a B plus team with fairly low level ones tier one characters they have not touched um, I think they have about 300 attack and things like that compared to the 700 plus you got on 5 stars and 4 stars upgraded and things like that. So we're just going through this storyline here and just going to take on the 4th stage here now. It's people, I probably should change up my team, it's, it's equipped for zombies, I put in the crit weapons and also the crit leader there with Andrea with the plus 12 for all teammates but I'm not going to change it, I'm just going to leave it as is and short, sort of show you how easy this first part is and as you can see we're getting through it fairly easily I don't really have any big healers, I know Katya sort of does some healing but that's about it so whether that's going to hinder me on the later stages we'll find out but for now we'll get we'll, 
We've gotten through the first three stages fairly comfortably with this team and we're getting through this last one with people really comfortably as well and they're set up with zombie integral weapons and leader and things like that so we're doing fairly well. If you do struggle I guess all you can really look at is changing up your team and probably maybe equipping some more appropriate battle items. I'm not too sure. Um, I don't see how you could really struggle with this first stage here, but that's just me. So we just finished another storyline. So that's the first four stages. Then the rest will be posted soon. Bye.